Well, this is an award-winning movie filmed right in our own backyards. The Fish Thief, a Great Lakes mystery, tells the story of the sea lamprey invasion and how people came together to save area wildlife and the local economy. First Alert meteorologist Erin Ashley has this story new tonight. Lee and Sasha, this film includes first-hand interviews from those affected by the sea lamprey invasion in the 1900s. I sat down with the filmmakers to learn how it all came together and what we can all learn from it. But by the 1950s, everything had changed. It was an invasion that left entire communities scrambling. Sea lamprey made their way into the Great Lakes in the 1900s, and they were killing local fish by the millions. The Great Lakes Fishery Commission, with the help of filmmaker Thomas Lindsay Haskin, has spent several years making The Fish Thief a Great Lakes mystery. The film that tells the story of how society and science came together to find a solution that helps fish populations and the economy thrive in the Great Lakes. Normally, when you make a film like this, the first thing you do is do all your research and then you come up with a, an idea for the story and you outline it and then you come up with a shooting script and you go out and you know get all the stuff that you think you're going to put in the film. Well, the first thing we did was just start traveling around and filming interviews with people. The film includes interviews with those affected by the invasion, and it is narrated by J.K. Simmons, an actor known for his roles in Law and & Order and Whiplash. Haskin sifted through the libraries for any first-hand photos he could find that helps tell the story. We combed archives and museums and, and universities and all kinds of places, uh, you know, all kinds of institutions from uh, Kingston, Ontario, all, you know, all the way to Duluth, Minnesota, down to Chicago. The film explains how the sea lamprey were able to kill fish by the millions. Dr. Mark Gaydon with the Great Lakes Fishery Commission says that the sea lamprey use their suction cup-like mouth to attach to the fish. Uh, there's a, a tongue that flicks out like a file and it drills its way through the side of the scales and skin of the fish and feed on the fish's blood and body fluids. Thousands of chemicals were tested to find a solution, eventually concocting a lampracide in 1957 that was selective in controlling the lamprey with little impact to other fish. The reason why it's so effective is because lamprey are primitive. They have not evolved much since the time of the dinosaurs. The Fish Thief, a Great Lakes mystery, releases this Saturday on several streaming services. And for more information, you can head to our website. Lee and Sasha.